Water pipes bursting, one of the many inconveniences that winter storms can cause here in the Midwest. Good evening, I'm John Stofflett. Unfortunately for a school in Platteville, it has caused extensive damage and is forcing some classrooms to relocate following the break. NBC 15's Shana Nijawan stopped at the school this morning and spoke with staff who are trying to stay positive despite the challenging situation. John, eight classrooms at the Neil Wilkins Early Learning Center have been impacted and will not be used for eight weeks. But while the situation has been stressful for the adults, finding a new solution for the kids is a top priority for district officials. Winter break, a time meant for rest and relaxation. This is my 34th year and nothing like this that I know of has ever happened. Was anything but that for staff at Neil Wilkins Early Learning Center. Damage in the walls, um, in cabinets, and uh, so we knew it was going to be a pretty big deal. Principal of the Platteville School, Tammy Hag, says the post-Christmas water pipe break left eight classrooms unusable and will force staff and students to adapt. So we decided to make it work and we we're just building some um, rooms in our gym and in our multi-purpose room. We're going to have a lot more sharing going on. Kindergarten teacher Liz Whitenhiller has taught in her classroom for five years and her and her students will now be displaced. She says planning ahead won't be easy. They're just things but at the end of the day they're what make the classroom home for all of us and we spend nine hours a day here and you want it to be comfortable and I guess I worry about recreating that in a different space. <laughs> and that prediction of what do I need for eight weeks out of my classroom and looking ahead, you know, it's kindergarten. You don't know what you're gonna need on a daily basis. But while the situation is stressful, the staff says the kids will adapt. And they'll view it as exciting. It'll be a new space. They'll be close to their friends in a close quarters. I think that they'll be okay. I think, it, you know, there's going to be changes. There's gonna be noise. There's going to be things we don't foresee. We're going to be sharing the bathrooms, which will be a little tricky, but um, we can make it work and we can be stronger because of it. Now the staff and students who will be affected will be relocated to the school's gym where temporary classrooms will be set up. Live in the studio, Shana Najawin, NBC 15 News. Wisconsin still has plenty of winter left, as you know, and there are a few things you can do to protect your home or business from burst pipes. According to the Red Cross, open up some cabinets under sinks because that's going to allow warmer air to circulate around those pipes. That'll help. If you're leaving town, be sure you keep your thermostat above 55 degrees. And if it's cold enough to where you think your pipes may freeze, keep the faucet running at a trickle.